Okay, to start off um, by extending your change, you're going to go to Web Control, click Actions, and then Sets, Brackets, and Chains. You're then going to align the motors uh, to 12 o'clock position so that they're straight up and down with the left and then the right. Then you define zero, and then you extend them out one at a time, left or right, and then you're done. Reattach the sled. Now let's do set sprockets and chains. So we would use the same left right motor control that we did to set them straight up that I showed um, first. So, and then we um, define zero. And then in order to extend the chain, so right now um, the right is at zero, the left is actually at extended. So if we pop this off and put it on link number one, So if we do the very first link right across the 12 o'clock position, right there, okay, then we define zero, and then the uh, lower buttons left and right um, become enabled. So what we want to do is we want to do the left to 1650, and this number 1650 can be defined in your um, web control settings. So if you want to go longer because you have a 12 foot chain, you can change that to some multiple of quarter inch because these are quarter inch length. So if you hit left to 1650, this motor is going to feed out that chain so that we can hook up the sled. So I'll do that. Left to 1650. There it goes. And you want to keep your hand on it at the start because otherwise it'll wrap around. Um, so this is gonna extend, and I'll probably fast forward this in a second. Um, I put my chain on the bottom. If you're gonna use the bungee, I found that it's really simple. If you put your chain on the bottom here rather than on the top, like it shows in the picture, and then you put your little um, chain roller here, you can actually use it as a rest when you calibrate, so it makes it a little bit easier. You just kinda hang out and wait. You want to do this for each side. And now when we're done, it's going to be kind of close to the top of the, the work piece. And that's normal. It's not going to be at the home position when it extends. It's going to be about, it's going to be pretty, it should be done here in just a second. There we go. So that's our extension. We expect it, you know, the sled's going to sit about right here. And it'll need to go down a little bit to get to the home. And we'll move it to home. Um, after we get the other side extended. So there's our extension. And we'll do the other side. Quite like, it's not quite like watching paint dry uh, because you get to do something like hold the chain. But so I'm going to extend the right now. You'll see the right motor will start to move. I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see that. Okay, I wasn't holding the chain right and the chain popped off the sprocket. So now I have to go back and re zero because it's not 12 o'clock anymore. So I need my level. I'm going to go re zero the sprocket again. And oh, I think I have to extend both of them again. Yeah. So that's a question of mine. If I hit define zero, it, it, I'm pretty sure it zeroes both of them. So, um, yeah. So, one thing, we've, we've extended the left chain and the sprocket now on the left, this gear is at the 12 o'clock position. So this, this, chain mark right here you want to mark that chain and so i simply did it with a sharpie right here and i colored in 
the links on either side of that top pin where it goes. So then when I need to re-extend the chains to reset, you simply find that mark, line up your thing and drop it on there. It's very simple. But the first time through, you have to extend um, so that you can make that mark. Once you make that mark, you should never have to do this part again. But I just jumped a gear over here because I wasn't holding it out far enough and the chain popped off because I didn't have enough tension on holding it with my hand because I was bored. And so now I have to reset it and I'm pretty sure that the way this looks, when I define zero, it's gonna reset them both, so I gotta re-extend them both, so. Honestly, only ever done this like two or three times because once you set your chain marks, you don't have to do it again. And so, yes, it's a pain the first time, but the good news is that somebody thought the genius idea to mark the chain and reset it, and that makes life really simple. So if your machine forgets for whatever reason, because your USB gets disconnected or your laptop goes to sleep or whatever, um, Having that chain mark in the end makes all the difference. So now we have full chain extension. Now I put the sled back on, and the sled is, I have mine mounted on the um, a lag bolt, the center of the beam. You simply lift it off and it's on the chains. It's not like this. Uh, and, and lean on it, grab the chain. And you wanna pin the chain on the second link or the first, the first link with a pin in it. You don't want to hook that, you don't want your chain to be held by that last pin, that last roller that doesn't have a pin in it. Because then you're asking for trouble. Okay, so this is why you might want to extend your chain a little bit more, because you got to lift your sled up. My sled's not exactly light, but okay, slip the it's through flat part of the or you can use mechanical advantage and simply take the chain hook it up in its slack position like this, which is a better way to do it. Slide that through. I hold the end of the chain with my thumb until I can grab that second link and push the pin through, like so. Now, I also have a bungee cord attached to the sled, which I then hook to the chain loosely. I don't want it to be tight on the chain. I don't want it to interfere with the chain, I just, it's an emergency. Okay, just like that. Give it a little space. Lock it in the chain. Like that. Okay. Then, grab the wheels and the ring like that. Set them on. Let the, the sled off. And there you have your sled is attached just like that now I have when I put my sled up on this lag bolt here I have a little plexiglass piece in the front that pops off so I have to pop that in or else I don't have good vacuum suction um, and I have my vacuum connector and we're ready to go so that is how we do that now to verify that we in fact have everything set up correctly, we can then tell it to go to 
home. So now that we've done that, we've set the sprockets, we can go back to actions, return to center, and reset home to center. So if we do return to center, it should just move down to its center position. So the machine knows it has a sled, it knows the positions of the chains, and we're ready to start our calibration.